Well, hello, my fellow car modelers. How are you doing today? So I took my uh, little trip over to Andy's today and to buy a kit that he has over there. And I ended up coming home with a different kit. And I just thought, what the heck, let's, uh, let's look at it together. And there's probably already been some videos about this kit. But I thought I would talk about this kit here on this channel. So here it is. Yep. 64 Cutlass. I don't know, for some reason now whenever I look at a Cutlass, I think of Matthew over at Model Car Videos because he just loves Oldsmobiles, Cutlasses especially. Anyways, so, yeah, I... I don't know this this kit when I first heard it was coming out I was pretty pleased you know they brought out the convertible which I had no interest in but uh, they said they were renewing this one I'm like ah you know I've had a fascination with the 65 I really want to build a 65 Cutlass just a street cruiser but you know this is what we've got so uh, I was Taking this other kit up to the counter there to purchase it, and I just was, saw a bunch of these over at Andy's, and I was like, I think I'm going to take it. I got to have it. I don't know. All of a sudden, I just felt like I had to have it. I was like really not that interested in it. It's got really cool box art, kind of retro, and uh, it's kind of interesting what they say here. Uh, the Cats collection, you know, going with the old cat from AMT thing, but it says here, classic vintage kits reimagined. Interesting take, they say. Retro Deluxe features new 442 body and engine parts. So it's a whole new body. And this engine is all new. So that, that's interesting. I'm waiting to see what happens when I open it up. Uh, expanded decal sheet. And we can kind of see the decal sheet right there. We'll look at it in a little bit. It's retooled clear parts, pad printed tires. Well, I don't care about the tires. I don't like skinnies. They're going to be chucked. This car is going to get some fatzos underneath the wheel wells there. With probably some Kregas and go all street cruiser. I really, really like the 65 Cutlass, 442, whatever you'd want to call it. And a few years ago, I actually went and looked at one I was thinking of buying. And I just I, I, I just thought, and they were just, there's just something was cool. I, I have a special place in my heart for Ozenbeels. My very first car was a 69 cutlass convertible uh my dad bought it brand new when i was a little tiny fella so you know the 69 cutlass is really really special to me but you know i like the, i like goals and bills because of that i've just always had this I've, i think i've said it before on this channel i'm just blah blah let's open this up and we'll keep on talking and there's all the parts but you know you've seen every review of this and andy happens to sell it you know, retail price is uh, $39.99. He sells it for $32.99. He's always been like that. So let me get this, and I'm going to slice this open and release it from its bindings and bondage and whatever. I mean, we don't want to talk about that. Anyways, so there we go. There it is. Now you don't get all the glare from that. Um, so... Uh, let's see if this thing lights me up the way I kind of hope it does. Since I can't have a 65, I guess this is the closest thing. Uh, the body's fairly similar between the 64 and 65. I just like the front and the grill work of the 65 better than this. Um, I don't know. Call me crazy. Mm, I'm sure you will. Anyways, there's a lot of custom parts. I really don't care. I'm not, you know, I'm not HPI guy. I'm not really doing a review review. I just wanted to open this up. I'm sure that there's other reviews on this. Ooh, rubber. And um, I'm not knocking anybody. It's just that that's not what I'm doing here. I just bought it. I wanted to open up and just get get give you guys my opinion of this, whether it strikes me the way I'm hoping it would. And uh, I'm I'm kind I'm liking the body. I am liking that body. Um, me personally, I'm. 
I, I love the fact that this is just simple because you want to know something? I think I'm going to blast this thing together. I want to put a nice paint job on it. The only thing I'm going to do, and you know, these are great tires. They could come in handy for, you know, I don't know. I, I'm not into, into that look. But uh, I think I just want to, you know, build a really cool street cruiser, kind of like the car that I saw. I wish I had pictures of it. I remember seeing it on Craigslist, and it just had a cool look because it had big, fat, BF Goodriches and either Torque Crest D's or, or, um, or it looks like you got a lot of room for some fat tires, um, or, or Craigers, something like that. And, and, I, you know, I just want to, I just want to build an, a nice street, street, you know, cruiser, whatever. So just a fast build. So I got these tires here. I was totally thinking about what would I use in this and I love these. And if you know what these are, you NASCAR guys, these are tires. And I got tons of them. They're from the old AMT NASCAR NASCAR tires. But they just got a cool, fat, you know, 70s look about it. I thought about doing them. I love, I would love, I would love to put some BF Goodriches under it. But, man, it's hard to find BF Goodrich tires in scale. Um, but uh, here's another set of those. Tires. So let's just, I, I don't know. I got so much room in there. Look at that. That got plenty of room. But that uh, that tire could really, really look good in there. What do you think? Eh, if I could hold it. Fills the wheel well up nice. Yeah. And just gives it a big fat look. That's what I want, a big fat look in, in there. I don't know if you can see that all. But, uh, I don't know, that's just what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking I might just blast this kit, you know. I kind of got to get going on the 40 Ford. I've been laxing on our 40 Ford build for, you know, the, the United Model Car Content Creators. Little group build. Let's open up these decals. I love decals. We all know that. I'm going to take a look at these decals. So that really should be priority right now, but I just saw this kit and just got a hanker and a blast of fast one out. All right, decals, I guess there's some cool stuff on there. Usable, usable things, you know, for models, because that's what we use these decals for, is for model cars, right? Okay, that's that. Super simple build, really just a simple simplicity I like. It's this custom hood won't ever touch it have no need for it don't care about it but uh all the custom junk yeah you know i don't know wow my blade must be dull it didn't even open this i'm not into all that 60s bolt-on custom crap it was for fun for the kids back then but I'm not into it. So, we've got the stock hood. And this insane, I guess somebody could do a cool hot, I, I'm not even going to try it. I, it's, I'm not, I'm not going to pretend. It, that's hideous. Um, a crazy deck spoiler that there's no freaking way. Um, we've got a nice Oldsmobile engine, early Oldsmobile engine there. That's cool. I'll, I'll just, build that that's what i'll do there's a bunch of old hot rod stuff on there crazy i guess to have some kind of big chrome blower i sure is on the chrome tree here let's see did we look at the chrome tree yeah there's insane blowers and you know all that nutty customizing stuff that was really fun in the 60s i have no idea what's going on here with these crazy uh brake rotors uh, I'm not about that. I'm going to use the stock steering wheel. Uh, I'm going to build this thing stock. That's that's what I would say. And I don't know. Maybe I don't do build videos. You guys know that. I, I cry about that a lot. Shut up. And so I'm not going to do build videos. But I don't know. I might blast this thing here on the channel. Blast it together. And just build a cool road car. Cruiser. Whatever. Oh, there goes my light. You see, I told you, I touch it and it just, it just shuts off. Anyways, so here we go. The the instructions, pretty straightforward. 
pretty easy. Now oh, there's that. I guess that, I guess those belong. Is that wheels and chassis? The thing had disc brakes in the front. That's cool. Whatever. I figured there'd be drum all the way around. Oh, look for the exciting new Craftsman Plus Nova wagon. That already happened. You guys, what the heck are you talking about? So we got the competition engine and the stock custom. I'll probably like put, you know, like bolt on hot rod parts that you, you got from the local hot rod shop. It was lopers around here, and super shops back in the day, in the 80s. Uh, stock, custom, we don't want to deal with. Stock is all we go with. And yeah, you know, a 64 Oldsmobile, yeah. It's the closest thing I can come to doing a 65. So, this I like the simplicity of this chassis. I don't have to deal with it. I'll probably just blast it black and whatever. And uh, I can, I can, I can drop this thing, or I don't know how low I'll have it. I don't want it low. I kind of want to. I kind of want to have that. That you know. The way these way way we had them back in the '80s, you know, in high school, '70s and '80s, um, when these cars were, you know, you pick one of these up for about, you know, 1,100 bucks or even cheaper, 800 bucks, 600 bucks, you know, and uh, or your dad gave it to you, and uh, it's just the old car, nobody cares. It's got huge. Those openings are gigantic. How about if we play like this? Look at that. Wah! That looks bad. Look at that. You could dump some... Oh, that's just getting me thinking of other things. You could totally make a cool tub-to-drag car out of, out of this and not have to do a thing to the wheel well. That just gave that thing some, some cred right there. But I don't want to do that. I just want to have a really cool, really cool, straightforward street car, you know, weekend cruiser. Um, I do like they did a nice job on the body. It's it's pretty okay. Looking at it, um, how much cleanup would I have to do? See little issues right there because of the those things always give you problems. You don't have to worry about the front, but the backs. So you got little little bit of putty work you'd have to do there. Roof looks pretty pretty good. I don't feel nothing weird. Um, I got this idea to paint it in this color. I think when I taught, showed that galaxy that I got, that was built up. This was kind of a cool '60s color I always liked. On all the, you know, GM had it, Ford had it, whatever they would call them. But this is just a neat. I'm going to try this out. I, someone talked about using this. I saw a model that was painted with this folk art stuff. You find it at uh, and whatever the. Not Michael's, but the other place that everyone likes, Hobby Lobby. And uh, I might try this stuff out. I don't know. I could be crying after I do it. But whatever. I want it to be that color, I think. And just, you know. Eh, that's that's what I'm thinking. That's all I got to say. I'm kind of done with this. I, I'm, not, I'm not losing my mind here. I'm not... What the heck is this? Look at that great... Do these things, I gotta look at, I gotta do some research on it. Look at that crazy grilling right there. Holy cow. Where the license plate would go. That looks, that looks absolutely horrific. If they did retooling, why don't they put some headlights? Let's see, what, did they add headlights? That, they said they retooled the, the clear. Can I find the clear? Oh, there's the clear. Do we got headlights? And we got headlights, so that's cool. I guess they just fit over the fit over that. So uh, that's cool. That okay. All right. I'm not going to be such a jerk about it. All right. Well, you know, my, my opinion. Uh, it's cool. I'm I'm glad they did this. It's a nice, easy kit. Um, I would rather have been a '65. I think that's my big thing. Why I'm kind of going, yeah. But the kit itself is pretty decent, you know. Uh, I've talked about round two before, and people say, you know, why don't you tool up? All well, it would cost so much to tool a whole brand new one and not have to deal with these kind of chassis. 
me, you know, this creates a situation where it's easy for me to do a quick build. That's what I like about kits like this. And when I saw this car, I thought, you know, I just want to do a quick build. If you want to do something crazy, I mean, you've got all these other models that you could kit bash. Any Chevelle, any mid 60s Chevelle is going to work whether you do the Pro Street or Street Car. If you're that much wanting to do, you know, something all kind of real stock and everything, I'm, I, you know, more detailed, I mean, and, and do it stock or Pro Street or whatever, having a cool chassis. That's 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 the fun of model building. Me, it's better than them not putting it out at all. I said that. I got other issues. I'll talk some other time about round two. But their model kits, I don't have an issue with. I like what they what they keep putting out, you know, for us. Is these? You know, I never would have thought you'd ever see this kit ever, 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 never. I just wish it was a '65. But you know, we can't have everything. That's all I'm saying about that. I went on long. Um, I kind of just did this kamikaze style. I just want to put out put out a video about this kit i'm kind of like i'm eh, about it i'm not i'm not excited i feel like building it though i just feel like building it out of the box and just putting a nice paint job on it and you know concentrating on the the wheels the the, the wheels and tires which i've got wheels and tires laying all over the place i shouldn't have put away check this out so you see there's this, i would love but these are like 24 scale these are those AARE tires that, you know, I wish somebody would do BF Goodrich's like that that are in 25th scale because these were beautiful. These are actually resin I made years ago. They did different size ones. And then there's this, I don't know, that's a good, that's garbage. But I, I don't know. I might play around with tires and fit it up in that body if it looks good. I don't know. I think they, I got to do some research. I think they kind of missed the mark on that wheel well. That that back wheel well looks really huge. Any of you Ozenbeel guys know a little more about these than I do? Tell me I'm wrong. Uh, uh, please put it down in the comments. I'm all for that. I'm not thinking. I got. I'm gonna have to look at pictures. But I don't know. It was worth the 32 plus tax, you know, to me. I mean, that's what kits go for. Everybody's like, oh, God, kits are too expensive. Let's not even get into that. That's just how it is. But, uh, hey, you know, they're bringing stuff to us. They went ahead and fixed some things, I guess. They retooled the whole new body. That's kind of interesting. But uh, that's all I'm, you know, that's all I got to say. I, I got nothing else to say except, you know, keep gluing the fingers together. And keep cutting the styrene and keep building model cars. I don't know why. Oh, I do know why. Because they're fun. Here's the producers. <laughs> <laughs>